Okay, welcome back to Groupoix Talk, Groupoix Lecture Series. Today, this is the last installment. We are waiting for beautiful punchlines. It's all yours. Take it away. Thank you. Uh, uh, I mean, um, just, just so you know, we, we are going to have a commercial break and then we'll be back. Yes. But, um, <laughs> anyway, and, um, th this is uh, where we were so far. So uh, we want to uh, develop the notion of quantum or eventually quantum group void uh, uh, based on the non commutative geometry idea. So we want a, uh, the cis algebra that looks like functions on a group or a group void on the road. But the thing is that um, just uh, the night thinking that, well, we are going to define the co multiplication map, antipode map, and, and such on the cis algebra. Uh, that idea does not turn out to be too uh, uh, smart, it turns out, because of the unboundedness and a whole bunch. So um, the idea was to uh, kind of um, downgrade the uh, role of antipode, uh, at least uh, the defining stages, and upgrade the cancellation properties and, and, and stuff. So uh, that idea, um, worked out pretty well for compact quantum groups, uh, direct spelling, uh, and, uh, and the, basically the commutation and the, uh, the stancy conditions, which are created by the uh, translation properties. We can actually construct the antipode map and an um, existence of the hard state can be proved. This is the left invariance, that's right invariance. It's this is compact, so there's really no distinction between left and right variables. So that's where we were. And then um, we want to uh, see what what might happen if we try to go to um, locally compact, so possibly non-compact place. Then uh, the space is or algebra is not unital. And um, in particular, the multiplication is not going to be staying in, in that uh, world. We need to consider the uh, actually multiply algebras. And another, so that that's, that's one matter. And then the another uh, matter is that the uh, existence of the hard uh, measure, hard, hard weight in this case, because uh, you know, it's not so compact. So it, it, uh, you have to think that the, um, Taking the integral of function over the whole, whole thing actually go too big, so infinity. So it's a weight, but anyway, I mean, um, unlike the ordinary group case or uh, even compact quantum group case, the existence of this hard weight cannot be proved. So that means that has to be attached um, together with the definition. And then there are some other things. And then um, the, the, this is the part that we, we, we're not really going to spend too much time on, of course, but the, the, even when constructing examples, the uh, go-to method for compact quantum groups generally is to um, consider generators relations. And here, you need to be careful. I mean, uh, it's, I'm not saying it's not, it's not possible or anything. It's just that the generators tend to be unbounded. Uh, coordinate functions can be unbounded. So uh, it's a bit annoying. And, um, and and so forth. So um, the two. Wait, when you say that the existence cannot be proved, uh, you, you, it's not an over theorem. Our strong statement. The very strong statement. Oh, you mean that it's an open question? Yeah, yes, yes. At, at this stage, mm -hmm. um, yes. But it's not like Gödel's. It's it's, 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 <laughs> it's our, yeah yes exactly yes yeah, yeah, yes. Um, unless you actually. Uh, prove that it's impossible. You, you, you shouldn't say impossible. I mean, wow. that even for things like time travel, I think. Absolutely. Yeah, but no. So, um, um, but um, the, the, the currently, because of our limited um, the, uh, knowledge scope and things, um, we, we do it this way. And the, the first two kind of look alike, uh, the, the compact case, uh, the, the, except that our co-multiplication is now going into the uh, multiply algebra. Uh, and um, density conditions, but um, existence of um, both left and right uh, weights are uh, defined. Now, um, the, the, in, in the actual work by Kostman and Paris, then um, the, 
its conditions are slightly weaker and then these are approved, but still, I mean, it's essentially a KMS weights and it, it, which works well in the CSL algebra setting. Now, um, there are actually two possibilities. I mean, the, we need at least one because we, we are not able to prove the existence of our um, weight. Um, but um, why two then? Um, that, that's kind of to avoid having to uh, mention the antipode. Uh, it's, 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 um, it's the philosophy goes back to the results from like 60s, 70s, 60s, 70s, um, Lars and Swindler there, that, that, which said that um, for a, a, a hop algebra, a finite dimensional hop algebra, let's say, then, then um, not the antipodes, just, just the, I, I guess, um, uh, the pi algebra then. Uh, together with the existence of certain interval bases, so in other words, linear function that behaves like a uh, hard weight, and um, then um, <laughs> measure or functional, then then um, be, be, with that the antipode actually can be proved and it becomes uh, of algebra. And so um, it's based on that philosophy uh, way down. So um, the one, one of them is needed because um, we cannot really prove the existence. The other one mainly to get the R um, weight. And as you can kind of imagine if you have both of them, then the, 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 the antipodes should um, make you go from one to the other, sort of. That, that's what we think. So um, that, that's, that's where, 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 how it would go. Uh, but, but of course... Um, but, but this is some, something like a locally compact case. So these uh, weights are non-unique. They're, they may be unique up to scalar. So yeah, yeah, yes, unique up to you, scalar. You need some normalization condition for, for the antipode, yes? Um, antipode itself is unique because it's it's intrinsic property of the group or... Uh, yeah, 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 but, but uh, while fixing those uh, KMS weights, yes? Yes. And I have another question. So, uh, as you said, it's an open problem whether uh, this ex existence of this uh, KMS weights invariant uh, is automatic, but suppose that the one of them exists, for example, this uh, phi, which is left invariant, does it follow that the right invariant then also exists? Um, Easily, maybe. So, I mean, um, the, the, I mean, in, in a way, yes. I mean, the, the, assuming that we have the antipode. Um, assuming that we, we have, we, but we don't have. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because um, the, the, the assume all of, uh, assume all of these axioms without this existence of psi, right invariant, and whether is it possible to deduce the existence of of this psi? Oh, um, I didn't. no, I mean, I, I, I think I mean, either you, 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 um, you, you uh, they, they assume one together with the existence of antipode. From that, you get that, or don't do those and then get the antipode. I, I think that that's the current status. Okay. Uh, the, I mean, if we can improve the situation where the, for instance, some um, existing power measure can be proved, and that that's hopefully that's a good thing. Well, but... There are various versions of this axiomatics. So yes. there is also a version with just one R weight. Okay. And then, of course, uh, as Vijay is saying, there is some sort of assumption of existence of the endpoint. Not exactly this, because you don't really want to use this map S. It's the worst one. There are, there is, uh, a different, uh, you, you replace it with a certain one parameter group whose holomorphic continuation uh, to, to an imaginary point will be, let's say, a large part of S or something like this. But, so there are different approaches, but you need more than just one weight. Mm -hmm. You need something else as well, okay. or another weight. <laughs> okay. Thank you. This analytic continuation is related to this KMS? Yes. Uh, well, I mean, um, uh, no, uh, not really. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is related to KMS on the dual, but it would be way too much. It, 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 will, it will appear down the road if you, you know. <laughs> also, yes. one more stupid, maybe stupid question. Um, uh, uh, not uh, familiar uh, with this uh, theory of KMS uh, uh, weights in the context of sister algebra. For, for me, SI 
I'm really not really so much familiar, but, but the natural setting for uh, talking about KMS weights are from Neumann algebra, not Sitzer algebra. Yes. So, so I have. I mean, um, the, the, so um, basically, how I think of it is that um, the, you, you want a, a certain weight so that if this is um, like um, the the, if the von Neumann algorithm, let's say we um, the closure and things like that, version had these weights, and then it's it, a restriction would come out something like this. Yeah, but you are saying weak. Which weak do you mean? Weak in the sense of Banach space theory. This is something which we cannot control. So usually what is used is not weak topology, it's weak star topology. But in order to, I mean, I think to be able to uh, weak, um, no, 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 sigma weak uh, requires the choice of representation. Weak doesn't require anything. Well, here actually what happens is that there is a representation coming from these slides and then, then, then the weights. Um, yes, but weights are usually defined, only densely defined. and. Uh, this dense domain is dense, not, uh, I don't know, I, I'm not familiar with this theory, but probably it's something like weakly star dense. So you already presuppose some topology. So um, I'm a little bit afraid. Yeah, I mean, so you're assuming that they are norm dense, these domains. Norm domains. Dense. Yes, these are so called uh, locally finite weights on a C star algebra. And the assumption here is that there actually is a one parameter group like the module group. On von Neumann algebras, but it acts on the C star algebra. So this is a strong assumption. This is a strong assumption, but you can get rid of it. There is a completely different approach, and then you don't even mention KMS. You you what you really want is a guarantee that these weights, when you perform the GNS construction, represent your C star algebra and take the bicommutant, mm -hmm. they will still be faithful on the bicommutant. And this can be expressed without the words KMS. Yes. But it's, uh, I think it's. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, that, that was GNS. Uh, so you mean GNS with respect to a weight, to with this particular point. weight? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, so, so that, that was what I was kind of um, okay. alluding to at the beginning. This is not exactly how the, the definition was given, and uh, that there are some, some weak convergence. And but it, it eventually it's proved that it's, it becomes KMS, and then I, I wrote KMS because that's essentially that's the situation, and that, that's more understandable. But there is a way that there is a, like one parameter group uh, associated to the weight because I'm for normal uh, faithfuls, you know, the the weight the, the, the phenomenon of the weights, then um, that the uh, modular group is automatic. But here for C algebra weights. Exactly. It's some assumption to exactly. something like that. So this is a rather strong assumption on the level of sister algebra. Yes, we, 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 Neumann is like nothing. Yes. Yeah, I mean because I mean the weights do not really behave too well with the sister algebra. So we are. Yeah, so um, yeah, but sorry, but there are plenty of different types of examples, right? So even if these assumptions are demanding, I mean yes. they are not forcing you to work with an empty set. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, for hard measures, it's it's more like um, theory kind of purposes. In 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 reality, they, they a lot of times, for example, they're they're kind of there. I, you kind of know. It's just that um, to make these things work, then then so um so anyway, in um so we, we basically the hope is that we want to. Uh, they use this idea and then they build upon these things to go to quantum group point because um, again, um, the, this is past two nice. days and uh, talking about the rather old story so, uh, saw that um, the, the group points are nice non-committed geometric objects give and then um, they can be useful for uh, expanding, possibly expanding the um, contingentiality and things like that. So we want to go there. And now, um, the, uh, in, but then that becomes technical. So, and then I'm considering the time and things like that. I, I might actually want to spend actually more time with the uh, like toy version, the algebra version, than the, um, the ugly version. Um, but it, it captures pretty much all the story. And then um, later on, I'll say something like that. So, well, this is um, the purely algebraic setting, but um, with a system algebra framework that I'm 
I, I, I worked on with Candela, and it's, it's based on this idea. So groupoid, and then I'm um, considering the functions on the groupoid find support, and because um, uh, it could be groupoid might not be uh, fine at groupoid and things. So um, the flipping the uh, partially defined multiplication here is a co-multiplication. And, um, and you, of course, don't need the comma under F. <laughs> Precisely, that's the yes. whole point. Uh, what is it called? Oh, exactly. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a multiplication. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Times Q. And um, when it's. Um, there was also a type on the previous slide, which Adam noticed. It's a list of many. Yeah. So, no, the previous slide. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I probably am suffering from the time that still that one has made. And then um, here is uh, a, a special element. Oh, no. Basically, it's delta one. So, um, it, you know, the function that takes values only one, except that when, when it, it makes sense, when, when the multiplication makes sense, then, then it's one, otherwise it's zero. So, um, the, the, and um, I actually say that this should be delta one. The, the reason why I don't say delta one is precisely because um, the, the algebra itself at this stage has no one, no identity. Now, um, it, uh, but um, it, it, me, by, just, just by looking at it, the multiplication and things, um, the, uh, it behaves exactly like delta one, but clearly this is not identity here. Uh, so um, the, uh, the issue, the heart of the issue really is that the delta is not a um, non degenerate map. It does not send one to the bar. I didn't, so um, that's the issue. In any case, um, whatever that thing is, um, the uh, antipode will be given by taking the inverse. And um, if you have the inverse, then, um, and by the way, I mean, from remembering how the group voice go, um, um, from p to p times uh, p inverse times p would be the, the, the source map. So um, using the source map, so, so in, in that was here's g, and then here's g is here in the bottom, and then here's the source map. Then um, basically what you can do is functions on the, the on this base level can be brought up. So um, that that's what I'm um, trying to do. So um, the the, the, the two source algebra is essentially that. So um, pull back, I guess. So um, the, the, that uh, should be considered as contained in our big algebra, um, but which is um, essentially model for the base. And then there's another one uh, for, for the target. So you could, so, so, um, so that, that's the part of the structure. And then, um, Note that the this uh, delta one, this E element, which uh, is is um, uh, yeah that that that's supposed to be functions on the two variables. But on the other hand, um, if you think about it, it, it really is going to work only when um, P and Q are um, uh, composable. So um, considering that actually E is staying in this um, kind of smaller algebra. And this one actually carries lots of information, even though it, at this stage, it just looks like delta one and it just, I mean, we, we call it E, but um, it, it carries lots of information. For instance, um, the, this, but all it's saying is that the uh, source uh, the, of inverse is equal to the uh, target, uh, this source. Uh, no, no, so, yeah, yeah, the, the, the things like that. So, uh, so P inverse is same as target of P, and, and, and it's, it's, it's really based on that kind of idea. So, for instance, if I wanted to uh, apply this, then um, B is a function of P, so B of P times one, so it's the answer is actually P of P, except that um, this only works when P and Q can be multiplied, otherwise it's zero. Uh, I would be of, not, not P, be of from source of P, that, 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 that's how it's defined, right? So, um, but on the other hand, a source of P is exactly the same as um, uh, the target of um, P inverse, the, 
And then, um, the, oh, no, no, target of a source, of, no, no, target of Q, because, um, yeah, the, the, the over things. The top target of Q says the source of P is equal to target of Q. It depends on um, the, um, uh, it, it, it needs to be multiplied. And that's the uh, same as the uh, um, source of that guy. And um, if you think, think about it, that's what's written here. The function so S E, so that that's taking the inverse this time for the second coordinate, and now um, it's times one. So um, I mean, it it looks funny, but um, they, 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 this um, the result and that result is um, so you don't, it's not like you're taking an exam. You don't need to remember anything. But um, well, what they're all saying is that um, the, uh, the as you take the inverse source and target get flipped. And that result is not really being assumed. It, it's, it can be obtained as a property. Uh, or if you want to do it some other way, you could take that as property. And then, um, you know, that, that, those are usual tricks because um, in algebraic setting, you, you it takes it, it in one setting, in algebraic setting, for instance, the, these are axioms and these are results. And then if you want to build um, the Kind of equivalent, the similar idea used, using a different approach. Sometimes you take properties as the axioms and then the definitions in the other uh, framework as a result. That can happen. And so, in some sense, those, those things will be sort of made into a, an exit in a, in a certain way um, in the C set. So, I have a question. Yes. Uh, here. So, these equations could, could be rewritten by pushing everything to the one to the left. And this would be, is it? E annihilates B tensor one minus one tensor S of B. Yes. Okay. So, so this is about what elements annihilate this projection E. This is idempotent, let's say. Okay. Right. Sorry. Right from the right. right. Yeah, from the right. Yeah. Uh, what's the meaning of this? Um, and um, the E, uh, well, I mean, I, 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 so in other words, um, E is a projection and, and yeah. that down the road, or I am potent. And um, you, you can kind of think that, um, the, that there is going to be a map that, uh, that um, eventually, like actually the, the next page map. <laughs> uh, oh, no, it is, it's not here, but um, the, the, the map that, um, I've been mentioning a few times, this is sending from here to, um, it's, 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 no, the, I think it's the other way, but um, no, no, I mean, for, for one sec. But anyway, I mean, um, the path map, then um, the, 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 it gets out of the way, but, but anyway, but one of those maps, that sets um, the, uh, Kind of, it will kind of become down the road a partial isometry, and then um, the partial isometry has the, uh, the starting the initial projection and the initial space and the terminal space. This this actually idempotent is going to become the terminal space, and then um, the, as you said, this um, the where it's getting getting um, the, the the kernel of this. Um, that's going to be the kernel of the other map. And then um, the, the, those relations actually help us um, uh, define the antipode down the road. And, and so that there are some technical things. But I think there's, there's the, the, uh, the calculation that you tried doing down there. It, it just, it's the same calculation if you put everything to one side and make it equal zero. And it will just tell you that uh, 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 condition for composability. But this condition will be just reformulated by taking the inverse of one of the elements. So uh, the composability is that the target of the right one is equal to the source of the left one. And with the S, you will be saying that this is saying that the source of P and the source of Q inverse is the same. This is what we will get. This, the, the calculation will be exactly the same. Explaining um, these equations. So, what, what, what was it? What, what you were so, so it means that E annihilates a certain difference of two tensors, yes. right? It means that if any function B vanishes on uh, points that do not satisfy this, that uh, source of P is equal to the source of yes. Q inverse. And if it's for any function, that means that, yeah, that, 
they are outside of and, um, the order. I mean, uh, the, you, you can play with the order, and it's not with you can put it there, and then you can play with that too. And that, that that's just um, the outcome. What happens if if everything is finite? Yeah. Two point is finite. Um, and that we have functions. I mean, the, the, these things still so multiply and vanish. Yeah. So they, I mean, if it is finite, then then all that is is that this is um is algebra. Then all algebra are unit. Yes. Yes. So, but I was never the less the delta doesn't still have. To, so you know, we, e, e is still not. You know, uh, let me see. Uh, even though the that that's the situation. If finite um, groupoid, that that makes things easier. But still, uh, this part doesn't go okay. away. Of course, I mean, some the multiplication is not defined everywhere. Yeah. So. Well. Yeah. So I have a problem with this map to multipliers of a tensor a, mm -hmm. because classically it is it is like um, this uh, multiplication must go to uh, even if multipliers to some balanced tensor product. Yes. So yes. you are so, so you are doing something non natural. You are cutting. Out this, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and they will com uh, composability, composability, composability of loss. Yes, yes. As, that, that's fitting. Yes, the range of delta somehow is encoding this fact. It will be somehow small, right? Yes. Yeah. So, like yeah. the yeah. image of this balance. Yes, that's 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 a limitation exactly. And um, the, at least for uh, the you know the. As you know, that's for the finite case, then that, that's that's less of an issue. So it, it you can get by, but exactly that's um so um this scope, the, this framework, whatever you come up with, uh, I, I guess I, I, I mentioned that uh, so last time I was here too, but um, that it is um uh, that the, because of the, the way we are viewing it in this way, it's it's limited in scope, and and um that that's the Rollback, but currently that's what I can only do it and more, more general setting that some some work done and then by Thomas Timmerman did some work and then Vandela and I we discussed a little bit we have some notes but um, and then um, this pandemic and then um, I got that but um, so um the I, I never really defined what we uh, uh, the WMH and weak, weak multiply health algebra is, but um, it's basically modeled after what we just saw. So it should be a uh, an algebra. Uh, with the, 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 you know, I mean, it makes sense algebra, and then um, the, it doesn't have to require unital condition though. Um, that that's where that comes from, and then um, the commodification, but um, the it's not. Uh, going to send uh, one to uh, one tensor one, so um, it's no longer non-degenerate. And uh, but on the other hand, there's special element E, uh, which is essentially delta one, so it, it has to. It, I wrote down various properties, but um, you don't need all of them in the definition. You need some of them, and then the other ones will follow as as a result. And then um, so in particular, you, you focus more more on those guys. And along the way, the, the the maps like that that um, canonical map like um, a tensor B going to delta a tensor B tensor one. Those types of maps are going to be uh, more emphasized and they're doing in in between. And if you do that, then eventually any code can be constructed. Um, and um, the other properties of the this idempotent um, can be obtained and and um, this is, among those was that 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 property that I wrote earlier that we're flipping the um, uh, source and target and inverse that that relationship is comes out as properties and and things like that. So um, that's the structure. Um, but um, it's, it's, at at this stage, it's modeled after the function algebra. But what's what's really nice about this is um, you can actually. Uh, uh, they, they, they consider the the so dual one, the, the um, groupoid algebra, basically the, the convolution algebra, can uh, also have these um, structure. 
the, the, this structure. So um, the, I, I wrote down the algebra structure here by basically if we had, uh, yeah, I mean, but when only multiplication defined, you do it that way. So in other words, if I have a linear functional like uh, linear functional, in your, in your span of lambdas and, and things like that. So the elements that look like the, 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 these, I mean, in here, and then um, I, I mean, EQ lambda Q, and then how they multiply then, well, I mean, C and, C and Ds are the some constants, and then lambda P and lambda Q, you use that if multiple application is done otherwise. So you, you get a convolution algebra. And, and then um, the, here is the identity. And um, well, I mean, you can see clearly that that should play the role of identity. And uh, now, is it contained in there? Well, I mean, unless there are finitely many of them, finitely many identities, you're not going to have this contained in the set. So this is in general uh, non-unital, and um, the uh, commultiplication can be uh, given. And then um, the here is the in particular the um, the, the canonical important element. So, uh, and it turns out that you can, the, those properties that I mentioned, they are all satisfy these guys uh, together with the antipode and everything. Although uh, the definition, there, there are multiple versions of this definition. Again, um, there, there is a one that mentions antipode um, the more prominently, the other one that intentionally hides this um, in anticipation of the C subversion down the road. So, so Vandelli has some um, multiple versions, but um, it, the, the, my point is that, uh, oh yeah, you can talk about the source algebra, the target algebra, those things too. I mean, although here, because of the simplicity of the situation, it's, it's, um, it's kind of, it looks um, easy, but um, in general, it doesn't have to be, of course. So the, the point is this, um, same um, structure, just the same framework, contains both the functions on the groupoid and the groupoid algebra. So this is um, it's a nice framework that can be used to uh, expand the uh, quantum and type duality picture, uh, purely at the algebraic level. Uh, its scope is limited because of the, the you know, the, we, we, are we are not really um, giving the proper uh, the consideration about this um, module structure. And another big thing that I didn't mention is that because of the, 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 the way that's um, being um, constructed, actually, you, the certain um, the structures that have the Base algebra is um, non-separable, then it cannot work. Right? So, so its, its scope is limited. But on the other hand, because um, of the resemblance uh, with this the group case, and then also working with um, more familiar notions um, like um, not balanced tensor product, but regular uh, tensor product and things, technically it's uh, more uh, accessible. So, um, cis algebra uh, framework attempt was um, uh, somewhat more doable. So, we, we, we did that. But um, knowing that its um, scope is limited, and then, uh, and then, so um, <clears throat> the, the things going on there. So, um, can I ask you whether these two fundamental models can be considered as functors? From Travarin and Kovarin, respectively. Oh, I mean, um, I, I guess I'm I'm getting uh, the comments about this functoriality pretty much every day. And while I'm, I'm, this is the area that I'm not really very really comfortable with, uh, and uh, you're right because um, when you talk about of course, and um, the, the, this issue can, cannot never never go away. Mm -hmm. But um, my general understanding is that. Um, it doesn't work too well. I mean, it, it's uh, the it, it, it's it's not really the, the in other words. Um, even if I say like contrivian duality and whatever, but um, it doesn't really go into that level. It's, it's more like um, uh, the I think your description is precise. At object level, the, the, then then um, the, there is this feature, but um, this um, uh, overall picture, I, I, it's it's not really that. Uh, okay, but the problem with functoriality, contract and duality, we know this is a serious problem, right? But I'm talking something much simpler. Okay. I'm completely classical. I, 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 well, when I have a group and I have a group ring, it's a functor. When I have a group and a function algebra, it's a contravariant function. Mm -hmm. Kelvin Neimer. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, so yeah, I'm just yeah. yeah a group point. I would expect it would work, but yeah. I mean, I I think um the the, the kind of the birds in the air road and those things. I think, um, the the hard system, first of all, uh -huh. which is not unique. Uh -huh. And also, Thomas, you were mentioning some problems that the arrows in the yeah. uh, go in the opposite direction, and the functoriality is uh, on the level of object is uh, on the opposite favor. As yes, yes. So as even on the on the level of object, it doesn't work. Mm. Oh. So for group, the situation is simple since there is only one object. Yes. So this problem does not appear. Yes. Can I have a philosophical question before you enter sister algebras? Oh, yes, philosophical question. Maybe mathematical question, actually. The question is, uh, so for groups, for locally compact groups, you can go to sister description. You either take algebra of functions or you take group sister algebra, but you can recover the group itself from the, mm -hmm. from the sister description. Yeah. You can find the set, the topology, and product, mm -hmm. all that. How is it for groupoids? You can, I mean, you will assign sister algebras to a given locally compact groupoid. Can you then recover the groupoid itself from the yes. sister? Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. Except, except that even, even the, that, that part is true, but unfortunately, because of the limited scope, the, <laughs> the certain groupoid cannot be or certain ordinary group words cannot be expressed in this form, unfortunately, because of the limitation, because of the uh, the, the e uh, object that's being too much prominently featured in a way, and and um so uh, the this contains all the groups and quantum groups and the larger group, the, the the class nice, but the problem is that. Uh, the functions on ordinary group words of certain kind, especially when the um, base is kind of ugly, and then, then um, they're, they're not in there. So, so this is not at this stage a very um, satisfactory framework. Uh, but assuming the, the one that the, 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 the group words, the, the, the type of sys algebra is uh, the kind of group point or, or this is. Um, Nice. Then, um, then, then, yes. In other words, um, from the abelian or commutative um, type, um, this, and then um, think about the spectrum, and then recover the structure from. Yes. Yeah, when I was asking this question, I was thinking about uh, representation theory for groupoids, which is not a very natural concept. That's not easy. Uh, representing uh, a groupoid on the Hilbert space. Is not the, the best idea because we're, you represent it by element of a of a group of unitaries. I that's why I was asking the question. Right. I mean, um, the well, I mean, um, the, the the because of the existence of the hard weights that we require that, that helps us at least to build a at least. Uh, the GNS silver species on to the Hilbert space, these are represented. So, well, uh, the, it, it, I have regular representation in that sense, I guess. Um, but, um, uh, well, that, that's probably it. Is, is it natural to consider in the context of groupoids unitary representation? Maybe partial isometries would be more natural since this is something like a partial structure, yes? Mm. That you consider the actually the domain of isometry and the range. So I don't know. So so people consider this uh, this approach to to define representations for groupoids, but uh, not as unitary, but as partial isometry, or is yes. it something not? That's coming. Okay. Uh, can you elaborate what you mean by certain types of groupoids you can <laughs> represent? I mean, not in big detail, but is it more than being not locally compact Hausdorff? Or is it something more? No, no, no. I mean, it, it's and uh, the locally compact Hausdorff on the groupoid. But on the other hand, um, the group, the you know, the unit space, it, uh, the um, cannot be. Uh, I mean, it, 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 so it has to be separable. I think. Uh, the, the, the actually it, no it, it, it may be even 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 more restrictive it, it may even have to be only discrete or 
I, I mean, it's the the bottom. They cannot be just some. Um, the I mean, the space yeah. of units cannot be just an arbitrary local like compact house space. Um, right? No, that, 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 that's that's a limitation of the, the this. Um, so um, the, this um, country. Yeah, but um, the, there are some. Um, the, there is actually better candidate, but um, that that's not in any form to <laughs> say anything about so. Well. But um, when you try to do this, then um, the basic idea is that we, we are going to model things after this. We multiply all the algebra um, structure in, in general. Um, and um, thinking about what happened with locally compact um, quantum group kind of a thing, we would, um, um, the, so in other words, the delta and E uh, will be featured more prominently. On the other hand, we, we don't want to say too much about the antipode uh, and, and things like that because, um, it, you know, already for a quantum group setting that it gives headache. In this case, it's going to get even worse. So um, instead of that, the um, those um, the, 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 the those maps like this, um, the, these types of maps will be given more um, the more um, preference. And um, oh, and then um, you want you'd want to um, work with um, the, the hard hard weights um, the, from the beginning. Um, that that's how it's going to mostly go. And um, uh, here is the, here it is. So it, 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 even for co-multiplication, you need to think, you need to be a little bit careful because um, the Delta is no longer um, non-degenerate and things like that. Even things like um, defining the co-associativity co can be problematic because um, you, you wish to say Delta, uh, the, the, it, it, this is equal to mm -hmm. that, but um, if you are um, the non, a non genus homomorphism, then the, 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 the textbook says that you can um, extend it to uh, a multiply level, but um, here it's not non degenerate. So, in other words, um, if it goes to multiply algebra level, then how am I going to define this? So, that, that, that's already a problem. Um, so, here that therefore there is this notion of weak associativity. Well, what that does is that um, the I want to say that these two are um, same, but well, what I'm doing is that basically by multiplying this guy or that guy, you're um, this um, this thing that which has to be in the multiple algebra level by multiplying this one tends to C in this case where A tends to one, it, it um, brings down to the uh, A tends A level. In, in other words, um, it's it's supposed to be a, a only a bounded function, but by multiplying a complex fourth function that you bring it down to the complex fourth, it's, it's basically that. So um, it, it looks funny, but you want to say that, but the problem is that you cannot give the definition in this way at this stage, so that's why. And then um, the other thing is that, again, non-degeneracy, then you wouldn't have to say this, but um, the thing is that in the, as written, then um, it could be just completely trivial and uh, you, you don't want that stupidity. So, um, so um, the, the here is the requirement that basically you, you, you need to have some meaning. And so um, the, the, that's, um, that, that's all that is. Sorry, just allow me to ask you, when you look at the base term here, is it the reason you put it here? I think you can put it on the left as eight and so on and so on. Oh, yeah, it's really and it's but, one. It's but, but, no, no. But, but the reason why the point is yeah. that, um, this is so, so that this. Okay, so you see what's happening this. here. Okay, I've got you. Yeah, thanks. Multiplier. It's where you can yeah, yeah. apply identity tensor. Yeah, yes, because then if it is out there, then you yeah. cannot do this many yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then um, the. Here are some properties of um, the, the E element, which will eventually become our delta one and then the, do all this canonical item potent. But at this stage, we, we don't have the, 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 the quite to rely on. So it has to be axiomatized. And uh, it, this, this is um, going to be true if this is one pencil one, right? So, um, so um, it's so in other words, a um, quantum group case that it's known to be uh, that, um, that these are dense. So th this is essentially that. It's just that um, this delta uh, that does not go to the, the delta is not non the, the, the non degenerate. So in other words, um, this one goes up to only the, the a part of A tensor A. So um, 
that that's the uh, condition. And, and the F E actually captures that. So, so E is actually the, uh, basically the projection where the delta goes into the... And then um, there's some other property, uh, which uh, I briefly mentioned, but that's technical condition, but um, that's trying to um, they identify some of the features that we multiply E element would do, and then capture some of them as part of the definition of the, about the base, and that's being stuck in there, uh, just, just enough so that things may work, because we don't want to list every property as part of the definition, and, and then um, here, this one looks they, they're simple enough, and it looks like you approve this, but um, apparently, um, again, um, people couldn't. So um, they, they, this condition actually has been around even um, before this. In other words, um, there is this notion of weak hope algebra, which so no multiply networks um, uh, the unital case. That theory goes back to um, the, the, line, the early 2000, I think, late, late 90s. Or something. That one goes way back, and, and um, Bohm and, and the, yes. Um, uh, they, and um, they, 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 over there, they, this is required at the time and, and still uh, is, should be there. Can I ask, because you, you, we, we took uh, uh, enormous pains to understand that delta cannot be applied to multipliers and things like that. But in the last line, you actually do that. Yes. So did it's you so well. mention some way to... Yeah, yes. In other words, um, the, the, what, what I need to say is that actually... This property um, helps us to um, extend delta to the multiplier level, and then therefore this makes sense. And then um, the the, uh, the the go back where the weak um, causality condition can be replaced by the regular one that we are familiar with. So in other words, um, can can I? actually extend delta to the multiplier level that it comes from this property and, and there are lots of them I guess but you don't even need all these additional ones I, I think this property already is enough to um, achieve that which I think is the next page but um, the or <laughs> here I guess um, that those things can be proved so um, for instance yeah, I mean, for, for instance, and the, 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 this kind of, because this uh, kind of gives an indication this looks like delta one. So when the, the, the how do I do this? Well, I mean, it's actually not that um, difficult. For instance, um, I want to uh, get that and then um, multiply the, the, any arbitrary um, B tends to C or something like that. Then um, the, uh, the, the or or maybe start with this. So um, the A B C R uh, the P C R arbitrary, and then if you have that, then um, the, since those guys are dancing um, in this world, you can more or less think that this is E of um, something can be written like that. So um, by multiplying E here, multiplying E here. Um, the you know um, the, 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 the side item potent, so it doesn't really change anything. So um, then the, the essentially what I'm saying is that whatever this some um, tail end is, that um, the here and then um, working with this one actually um, the whatever whatever multi I, I multiply in here, so they, they will be the same anyway. So um, it, it's um, it, it um it can be seen that um, e e um behaves a lot like um, that already, but more, more. Um, but this is half of the story because then in the middle of the picture, you have uh, an E, which is an element of the multipliers of A tensor A, and you're applying delta. Yes. Uh, so and it's it's like next level extension. Yeah. I, I I'm guessing maybe you don't want to go into this, but it no, seems it's like it's next page. Oh, okay. So, um, uh, uh, yeah, I mean the the, the that and but um the this this is the one that um that 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 so, so I, I you took care of this so, so I, I saw that this part is done but um can uh, the, can I actually say this well, I mean I, I'm not going to go into the details of the proof but uh, because it's it, 
take some pages, but on the other hand, it's the idea is just this. So um, if M is a multiplier, and I want to make sense of whatever that thing is, then um, the uh, I'll try to think of it as a map from um, A tensor A to A tensor A. Uh, the, the, and um, the two ways, view it as a left multiplier and then view it as a right multiplier, and then um, they um, satisfy this um, competitive, the, the competitive relation so that it can be said as a multiplier. And um, how do I do this? Well, I mean, um, if I have an element and like in, in A test A, so, so let's say X is in here, then um, first I'm going to send it to um, that, and then um, E times A times A, everything in here uh, is essentially um, those. Uh, the, the, and then um, the, I mean, U, V, W, uh, well, I mean, the, 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 it's um, approximated by, because E times uh, E times A plus A is um, delta, the, a completion of um, the, the, those guys in that word sum, anything that looks like E times an element can be approximated by these guys. So when you um, apply, so, so when you um, apply or it, 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 the, 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 because I want to think of it as a map at this stage, apply then um, how am I going to apply them? I mean, um, the, it, this will be uh, going to uh, delta M, um, um, yeah. U, and then um, V, W, and then things like that. Now it makes sense because it's a multiplier, so then now it's an A. And so um, you can define it. And then the issue is, um, is it well defined? In other words, um, zero goes to zero, so, so you need to check that, but that, that's that's not too hard. And then um, the, the, that's the left uh, multiplication where left, uh, and then um, they define something similar to the, 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 from the right, and then left multiply right multiply they behave from accordingly. So, so um, you can show that this actually goes to a multiplier, uh, and, and then um, and they do the same kind of a thing, and then the, these can be um, the, it's the same idea. You can do that. Then um, the, now um, I can honestly sleep. Two functions about this e x. So what is e doing here? What, what, what oh, here? Yes. I mean, um, the, because um, the the by multiplying e, you're you're um, the, you can approximate that in this way. And um, you, the the problem is that now you, 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 it feels like you're making this a little bit restrictive, but it, it's not because um, multiplying e actually to to these guys the the, the co multiplication e multiplied this way that way actually it doesn't cause a problem. So, so uh, the, to be really precise, uh, to, to uh, take care of that danger issue, I, I could do something like this. For instance, let, let's say this um, map makes sense, but um, the, the, the two, 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 to say that, so, so then um, if I have, I mean, like C tensor D is um, arbitrary. And then um, the, if I have, um, but this with with, with um, the, the whatever I think, then um, uh, the uh, you can um, uh, because of the, this this e can be multiplied here because so the delta whatever times e is okay so you can insert e here and then um, the this thing can be um, the again approximated by the, those um, uh, the, 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 so, some, something that looks like that related to these guys, and then um, the uh, and then what you do is you, you bring this over to the because of delta a times delta b is equal to delta a b. So you, you can bring this into merge them and, and still make those um, inside of the delta staying inside A so it, it can be all worked out. And, and then um, the, well, what the, uh, eventually what, what, what happens, I think, is that um, C, uh, although I probably need to be more careful about its naming, but anyway, I mean, uh, 
but no matter what you multiply uh, times some this times and whatever um, the 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 same as um, um, to doing it that way in that with some the like um, dx or color um, uh, we're really having trouble reading you uh, yeah I mean I, I it's, <laughs> so um, I um, I mean the, the whether I mean to put this here or there, but but that the uh, um, the uh, what what, what the uh, in other words, what, what I need to say actually is that um, I you know I mean it has to be a map from here to here, a a tends to here, but by cutting it down at this stage, I only have a map from here to here, right? Yes, that's so exactly that, what I was asking. Yeah, that, that, that's the scare part. But the thing is that um, um, even though I I have a map in this way, I mean I. I, I, I I'm kind of confusing myself, so I'm, I would say, but um, the thing is that by, by the property that whatever multiplication times E actually um, does not really change, using that property, it, it's actually, um, it, it's, it's like a two line proof that, so I, I don't know, it's, it's going blank, but um, it, it actually, I mean, um, it, it's, it's okay. I mean, um, I so, um, maybe. Well, your other axioms sort of said that delta of one is e. So, so then this is this trick. You're just in, uh, saying instead of delta tilde of m, you're considered delta tilde of m one, and then, and then this is just the multiplying by, by e. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I mean that, that, that's where the my, my comes from. But still, you need to prove that actually that this actually is yeah that you get a that it, multiplier like like an actual multiplier the, the yes yeah pair of a left one and a right one. Uh, but my my point was we in the end you sort of ad addressed this because you had extend delta which was originally ma a map from a to the multipliers of a tensor a to a map from m of a to multipliers of a tensor a. Great. Now you want to look at identity tensor delta what is it defined on well whatever this identity is on tensor m of a but this is not enough you need on m of a tensor a which is even bigger it's as i said next level extension and you sort of mentioned it by underlying uh, underlining delta tensor identity and identity tensor delta saying that well you do it in a similar way and I would accept that because it will take more of these calculations again, but I, I, I guess you can still make this next level extension, okay? So not from uh, uh, just A to multipliers of A, then next to A tensor multipliers of A, and next to multipliers of A tensor A, which is still a bigger one. That's a bigger one, yes. Yeah, but it, um, it must work in the end. It's, uh, it's just, just a little bit, I believe. I mean, not, not, nothing really hard. Uh, and so for instance, um, primarily, this is not C software trick. It's, it's purely working with algebra, really, because of this um, density. Uh, and so um, it's kind of um, annoying, but um, yeah, I mean, um, if, if, um, if you will give me, then it actually can work out, so sorry. Um, no, I'm more than happy to take a leap of faith. Uh, at least for that one, I'm pretty confident um, that, that there are some other things that I'm a little bit more. But now, um, this, uh, so um, the, the, the requirement actually uh, the e requirement helps me to deal with this um, delta extension issue and causativity so from now on i can say that delta is defined in this more extended level or even delta tensor identity as well and this uh, probability idempotent property that's that in itself can be an hour um, material so it's it's certainly but um, to um to to, to summarize it's really about trying to 
It's, I mean, there, there are multiple ways to doing this. If you think about it, it, it when you try to uh, describe the group void, and then um, in one form or the other, you should explain the um, uh, the identity space. And um, the, the the when when you say this whatever this uh, probability property is that uh, that is um, converted into as part of the it, it, it's it's um, described in the form of the property of E um, by convenience. But what what is essentially still happening is that we want uh, certain properties on the base so that the, the behavior of E and um, things like that, that's um, going to match what happens uh, for this algebraic framework of weak multiple Hopf algebras. And um, the, the, the problem is that um, in the weak multiple Hopf algebra case, then the, these, the, this does not have to be prominently mentioned because um, that can be obtained as, um, as, a, as, a, as a, a, a consequence. But, but um, so in the in particular in the purely algebraic setting, but the biggest thing of the more, in my opinion, is that um, in the purely algebraic setting, then um, with the with, with the conditions what whatever so which I didn't get to, then um, the thing is that at the um, base algebra level, the, this um, unispace level, the, this is functions of um, the uh, on the base. Think, think about it. It can be shown that um, there is a very um, unique, um, distinguished um, the linear functional. In, in other words, there is a natural uh, measure on the base, which is kind of proved from the, the obtained as a result from the framework. Now, um, in, in this um, sister setting, then um, you cannot expect any result like that. So um, what ended up happening was, um, the kind of like the group or theory in the, the, that we will require the existence of the measure for the unit space behaving in a nice way. So um, in a way, it's kind of like that. So you, you want to give the base uh, algebra or of functions on G0, they pull back and anyway, over there, there is a certain weight and that, that weight and then this space behaves in a uh, certain way, which is compatible with this E and then that's how this is. So um, if you were working on this, um, the, the two, so like, like um, Bons van Dellem into looking at the same thing several months and years and then um, going this way and that way, then that might seem natural. But in, in general, if you just look at the axioms, then um, why do you do it this way? That that may sound like it, but um, it's really about um, source and target. And unfortunately, as I was saying, we have to um, they, they only consider that those kind of base that satisfy certain conditions like like this, and not all base should behave like that. And then that that restricts the scope of the group points. Unfortunately, and then what, what are those? And one of them is this one is not too restrictive. We, we want the B and C, and, and um, there is a um, and the isomorphism between one and the other. I mean, that, that's essentially like um, to go from the source of target, then um, the inverse anti isomorphism that that part is sort of obvious. But, um, and then um, require the existence of certain weight on B and, and the, the uh, I guess again, the same thing, you can probably relax uh, the, the, this uh, KMS stuff, but um, the, in any case, um, I, I want this um, automorphism rule. And then um, here is a definition the, the, that looks weird. So I'm, I, I'm not going to elaborate on this, but as a, the, the, but by taking, whatever is this definition, we are getting, get, getting this. So that the, the relation that um, I wrote earlier the, the, and, and wrote about, the um, B tensor one goes to one tensor the, the uh, antipode of E, um, that, uh, that, that can be obtained without having to refer to the actual construction of antipode in the whole world. Because that that's we are not there yet. So um, well, what's going to, so, so you see, I mean, then for the group case, then 
I mean, it's basis, it's one, one point or whatever. So, one, or C in this case. So, therefore, none of these things um, have any analogs there because um, the, for group case, there's nothing there. But um, here, they were, what I'm saying is that by imposing certain conditions, we had some antipode kind of a thing going on um, at the level of base from the source to target and target and back to the source. So that that's either you we want to take that as condition or or get in consequence. But in any case, I, I, the, even though I say this um, antipode kind of thing, it's not, and it even looks like an antipode in many ways. But um, it's I, I'm not uh, the saying at this stage that there's an antipode. It's not. It's just saying between the base level and to make that work then um, whatever the technical conditions were given but eventually but the at the end of the day what um, what we wanted was that I, I we wanted that condition to be our starting point or, or our, our property instead of um, consequence in this r is it defined on the whole algebra or is it just an isomorphism from one piece to the other an anti isomorphism the, yeah and yes between the um, source algebra and the target algebra it's, it doesn't extend somehow to the whole thing not yet but, um, but it somehow looks like it should yeah. yes oh, okay yes. eventually what's going to happen is that from from this which only takes about that it takes care of the situation only at the base level and then um uh, the, again, for the group case, quantum group case, you don't need to spend any time on these things about the base level because there is no base. But the, once the base is um, firmly taken care of using these things, what happens is that um, this R will become that R that uh, that appear in the um, polar decomposition for the antipode. And this gamma will become the restriction of the, the, the antipode and the full, full algebra restricted to this particular base. And um, the, 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 the same, same thing for the other one. Uh, for from C to B, uh, the, these two do not have to be inverses of each other. The, the B is a B, B from B to C. It is gamma B is from B to C. B is a lot like antipode. Then um, this is from C to B, A is a lot like antipode, but um, they are not necessarily inverse of each other. If so, then that would be kind of sign that um, yeah. identity, uh, the inverse of, of the inverse identity uh, restricted, but, but that's not necessarily true, even at the base level. Uh, and um, so, um, the, but the, the, the previous page is um, the, the for proper definition purposes, the preview page is the correct one, I guess. But on the other hand, the reason why we, we have that is really to um, get those. So um, when we were working with this, when you looked at weak multiple level, purely algebraic level, then these properties were obtained as consequence. But um, on the other hand, we want to take this as a kind of an axiom or something that gives me this as the axiom and then um, obtain the other ones as consequence. That, that's a plan so that these are um, made being a bit prominent and that that's what the separability, whatever condition is. And then, um, Using those together with um, this uh, that this re 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 relationship that that, um, that that was mentioned, if you put them together, then you gain you get these results that are uh, if you think about it, this seems to be it, it has to work. You think, and but um, you don't need to require this. So you can do this. And then that. So um, if you think about it, in the case of the group, then um, the, the, you don't need to worry about E, then, then E is one. Then um, the, this kind of a thing would happen only if um, B or C is a number the, in the group case. And now um, the, 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 it would have anybody in the um, base algebra would. Um, Behave like like that uh, with um, 
E uh, inevitably because um, everything has to be attached with this E, e because um, of the partial multiplication. So um, there is a course there is a corresponding result in the case of quantum groups saying that um, I mean for if you have delta of something is equal to one tensor x, then it has to be a, a, a constant and that kind of thing. It, it's equivalent to that that result. Um, but the note that one goes here, one goes there. And then um, the, so please tell me when, when you want you to stop. And then um, the, so oh, two minutes. Okay. So um, the, the uh, but the sure is the, I've been referring to this, but the, it's a problem that is these things are uh, the, 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 from the, the narrow point of view of, I want to get something that corresponds to this weak multiple alpha algebra. Then, then I mean, it says by these properties, which uh, the, the whose um, cyst algebra counterpart should be that. And so let's do it that way. That's all good. But on the other hand, um, the, the thing is that the, having these nice properties is nice, but um, sometimes too nice. If you want to get all that, then um, this B algebra and also the, the, the um, um, uh, the way they, they have to be very specific, and um, uh, I think they have to be like um, um, the like some of matrix algebras and then the, those kind of things only like um, the base. So um, it's uh, it's restricted, so that that's not too helpful in that sense. Uh, but um, the carrying on, and then in addition, finally we we are going to require two. Uh, weights left and right, and um, this uh, the reason why we want to is um, same as before. We, we want to uh, use um, two of them from the beginning so that uh, and then get antipode later instead of um, putting antipode as part of the definition. Uh, and and, um, and but on the other hand, this condition. In some sense, look a little bit too um, too weak. So let me comment because um, in the case of the regular group voice situation, then it, it would go something like this: f of um, let's say x c uh, d lambda and um, uh, the from the heart system, and uh, the, the here uh, this the notation is that whatever is put in the in the target. So um, here it should be like um, the, the, those z whose target is equal to s of s. And um, if that's equal to f of um, z, z, the lambda um, z, but now if it, if this is target. So, uh, it, 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 this was um, Renault. I mean, the, the, this was uh, the, the uh, uh, left inverse condition that I wrote the first day. Uh, at that time, I, I think I wrote something like this to emphasize that it's really just on one fiber. But but um, if you think about it, even if I write it in this way, that is still fine because again, I'm the even though there are lots of fibers, the only thing that only fiber that makes sense is where this x times c makes sense. So um, if if you view it in this way and then think of phi as um, giving the weight on the whole, the total measure, then um, this left side is here. And then um, instead of saying all this, it only says that it doesn't say phi of a, for instance. I mean, the, you'd want that it, it's equal to phi of a, or, or so some, some version of x is the way to. But um, it only says that, why well, it has to be contained in the uh, in the target. It, when the, the, this is OK, by the way. I mean, the bits here, z is relevant. So um, this is a function of um, target x. So um, at least that part is OK. It's just that the, the condition itself it looks much weaker than this one is it still okay and um it, it is fortunately it turns out so so um the you, you uh, um the, the, we'll get to that 
Um, but um, this is the left invariance condition and then right invariance condition, they flip it over. Oh, well, could you, could you uh, remind, so this M phi is the, is the domain of definition? Of oh, yeah, yeah, yes. I mean, they, they, it's, it's a weight theory, um, the notation, but um, they, they will, what this is, is that because um, they, it's a weight, so it's not like state or functional, where, so, so it's not everywhere defined. Mm -hmm. by, by, well, what this M, that, that means is that where it's defined loosely, and it's supposed to be dense. Yes, yes. So uh, there's a part of the definition of being KMS weight is that the weight is densely uh, defined. Right, right. So, but when you take the closure, oh, I mean, th this is um, it's not really closure notation. It's it's more like um, extend it to the multiplier of the level <laughs> because um, at, at this stage, because phi was supposed to be defined only on A, and then we are talking about something that's actually in the multiplier of the level, and then. Um, so, so, so you, it, it, and then um, th th there's a whole issue of how am I going to make sense of this? And then also um, the, how am I going to make sense of that at the multiple algebra? So th th there are some issues there, but um, th th those are just uh, the, not really the, to avoid anything issue. It's, it's just it's, um, the, the way theory matter and, and um, you, you can take care of those. So all, all I'm saying is that where it's well defined and Actually, you, you don't have to say it in this way. You can write it in a, a, a even um, milder version and then it comes out that way. But the, the bigger issue is not really uh, the domain part. It's more like it, it's requiring only saying that it's uh, contained in the target algebra. Is that really enough? And it turns out to be actually okay. So um, if, if I could say that, then um, for instance, um, it, this actually turns out to be true. So did this. And now that it's in the target algebra, I think about the measure on the target. So it, it, just like the, uh, the measure in the base. And then, um, then it turns out to be the whole thing. So the, 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 this kind of results is something that looks like this is true, which correspond to, I wrote it a funny a, 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 a earlier, but the for group void case, take the, um, the you know, the uh, interval with respect to this, um, the fibers using the hard system, and then and the later take the integral with respect to the measure for the bottom and then combine together, then you get the total measure. And um, that's exactly what that is. The, this one basically is about this um, in some sense hard system part. And then this is the one for the bottom. And this mu is, is the same as that, that neighbor that I mentioned for, for the... So it looks weak, but actually it turns out to be okay. So you use all that to if the definition and then um, that qualification uh, with the understanding about this co-associativity and then those other conditions. And um, the, the, these things um, tell us about the, um, the, 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 I was saying the separability or whatever, but uh, the, the, these satisfy certain properties so that we can get those. And uh, the, the, this property helped me extend the um, commodification to the multiplier level. And um, this one looks easy. It looks like it can be proved, but it cannot be so easy to include. And um, this, so um, so far, and then um, the next page is, I need to require also the weights. So um, I think this, I'm, I'm summarizing what what is going to be so far. So I need left in this right in Davis. And then um, this last one that looks funny. Uh, it, 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 at this stage, it's kind of um, a little bit too, too the, 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 I didn't really say much so, so um, to explain, but um, this has to do with this plug in there thing eventually. Okay, let's, let's pause now. Yeah, it's a good, good place to pause. And to pause and we same position. Okay. So, um, uh, we have that from the uh, messages. So, uh, right. So, um, the, the, this, um, uh, the, the, if, um, the, 
ENC are um, trivial, then th this will go back to uh, quantum group. And, uh, and then it's going to be much neater. And, and um, the, but good thing is that um, the, from this, even though it's, it's not and short, but still from this, uh, antipode uh, can be constructed with together with, uh, uh, with all of the composition. I, well, I mean, hopefully I'll say something, but I don't know. I mean, um, the, the, then um, the, the, but the thing is that as we've been referring to a few times, uh, requiring this, um, this feature about this E element um, as a bounded operator satisfying these, and then this, um, this, um, uh, the weight on the base, I mean, exactly this way and things like that, that that's makes things uh, rather restrictive. Uh, we, we want to, so um, the idea is that we eventually, we, we want to replace this or, or at the Hilbert space level, which is, can be viewed as an operator also, Hilbert space level or, or this, Instead of this, in other words, as a subspace of a tensor product, you need to replace it with a, a, a balanced tensor product of, of some sort, uh, which uh, may not necessarily be, like, I mean, it's smaller, but, um, but on the other hand, it's not going to be neatly contained like this with projections. So what we, we, that, that's um, where, we, where things should go. But the thing is that even at the algebraic level, uh, the, the framework that seems to be uh, most optimal for those things, then already there, the co-multiplication is tricky. I mean, that there is this, some, um, they have like left co-multiplication and right co-multiplication corresponding to B and C. And um, so you need uh, the co-associativity that um, considers the mixed feature. And then um, the, the, there is um, the, like um, the Takeuchi product type of um, the balance tensor product. And then, um, and things like that. So um, I, I, I think, I, I, I don't know, but um, maybe if you want to go there, then um, the definition of co-multiplication or formulation of co-multiplication needs to be probably looked, maybe touch that um, more dramatically instead of just um, this kind of multiple or whatever, maybe then, maybe um, the, find a different way to formulate all that problem. I have a question. Yes. What is your Smallest non trivial example of this structure, classical. Smallest, smallest non trivial yeah. example of such a structure on a classical uh, uh, I, I, group. I, I don't know what the smallest, I would say, you mean no small size. Um, point. I mean, I, I, the smallest, the best. For instance, if, if you think about this uh, finite group point, mm -hmm. let's say the action of of the symmetric group on three elements on these three elements okay then you could ask uh, was the was the was the meaning set theoretical meaning of of these operations written in terms of functions for instance if you have the map from a to uh, this time it's simply a tensor a it means dually that you are speaking about composition of all arrows. So, so you start from, from, from some kind of composition of arrows, even if they are not compatible in, in the classical sense, in, in, the, in the sense of uh, classical definition of a group point. Okay? That's it, that's it. Yes. Yeah. So, so my, my question is so, oh, even more. Then you need this E. But in this case, E simply means that you have some subset. Yeah. Yes. Delta of the image of delta stable under this E because everything is commutative means that around this um, composable pairs you have some uh, some subset. It, it, okay, so, so this is a set of composable pairs, right? In this case, this whole set of composable pairs. Well, I, I'm not sure, but I maybe not exactly. This condition is on the. On the this this function, this characteristic function of this uh, subset, okay, uh, contains uh, composable pairs. Well, I mean, um, it's bigger uh, than it's it, it takes value one, 
and two times Q is possible. So, uh, but, but first of all, uh, what is this kind of uh, everywhere defined composition of arrows? Even if the, um, the endpoint, uh, if the source of one is different from from the target of the previous one, I cannot see this. So, what are you generalizing? So, your question is like: take some groupoid, uh, possibly some small example, because it's not a group, yes, and then. Try to mimic this construction and see what this okay. uh, take take the a equal to functions. Yes, on, yes, yes, yes. On this finite, this should correspond. To. This composition is weird because it's uh, you you apply it to functions. This co multiplication you apply it to functions, and it's a function of two variables, which is uh, the function at the product when the two variables are composable and zero when they are not. No, 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 extension no, no. by zero. No, which no, 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 no. no. This would be not an algebra map. But what we are talking it about is, now, it is an algebra map. It is not an algebra map for the pointwise multiplication. If you extend by zero, what do you mean by what was the corresponding corresponding uh, operation on on elements of this set? On sets, well, extension by zero is nothing. Well, I thought that it was originally like a map from uh, uh, functions on the groupoid uh, to the map uh, to functions on the set of composable pairs. No. But, but wait, and then you treat this set as a subset of, of uh, the uh, oh. Cartesian product of the groupoid with, its, uh, with itself, and then uh, just put zero where this is not defined. On points, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Uh, I agree. It only the first part made sense before extending by zero, just as a. Uh, so it's not coming from operational. But it is not an. Uh, it's not a good algebra map since it's not unital. So, you know. It, but it was this fact was motivated by evaluating this function on the product. Yeah. So yeah. this way, it's, it's like so a, it relates this to some operations on points. Yes, and that's the one I said from the set of pair composable pairs. That makes sense. Then you have just a composition on com on what point on not composable. Uh, on the other ones, it's not defined. It's not defined because you have uh, this. If everything is finite, so forget about multipliers. You have you have something which dualizes to operations on elements. If it were a unital map, but this is not a unital map. That's so. I, I, I think um, the the no, the issue is still there. Even if it is unital, I think it, it, mm -hmm. it, because you, you're not comfortable about this some um, zeros, right? And the the this so um I think that the, the problem is um go 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 even deeper. I mean I the the I'm I'm often I'm keep forgetting that um that these um Google ports are supposed to be arrows and, and so you, you from time to time you want to come back and then think of it that way. I mean I'm um uh, while um I'm I'm just um Naively, just um, the the following the quantum group structure, and then well, I mean, just tweak a little bit, and that's the one. And, and also, so I, in other words, I, I don't really, uh, I, I don't often think about this kind of aspects, but uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's so can something to think about. So can, can can we say, for instance, like this? Um, let's take uh, a finite group point. Two points. The Finite groups. Three better. better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fine. Okay. And then uh, think about this. Uh, take the classical structure of a, of a group point. Okay. And then go to algebras, not by 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 uh, this evaluating or something like this, but maybe by something else. In your formulas, when you related 
point-wise uh, operations, okay, and 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 your your composition or your group point, because then it, maybe it, it could be made, made something like uh, on on the level of functions, take this as follows: comma multiplication applied to a function, okay, is the evaluation of this function. Uh, evaluate uh, on, on, on the product on the composition okay this goes to the balanced tensor product next by this separability condition take a section of a map from a tensor a to a tensor let's say over b with a okay mm -hmm. and then you obtain something you see this section is not a, an, an algebra map, you obtain something which is not an algebra map. Maybe uh, under some very strong, strong conditions, you can insist uh, to be, uh, to be uh, non-unital homomorphism, like, like for instance, uh, pointwise multiplications, times the characteristic function of some subset. Mm -hmm. Okay? I think this is what this is doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this would require to recycle all these, <laughs> all these axioms in, in the different order, because we are starting from something different. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and first of all, you will not have this, this everywhere defined uh, multiplication of arrows. You know, I think this. Um, this is a some part of this. I, I, for me, I mean, I, I need to think about it. It's, it's a little bit um, confusing. But on the other hand, um, yes, I mean, I, I also, I, I, I don't know what to say. But um, I, I feel that the, this, um, that the way that we, we think about here, that I think about commodification, um, probably needs to be re revisited, and and. Um, yeah, so, so this is what I'm suggesting. Yes, yes, exactly. So, in, in, so, so and, and this is something that, that, um, that to, to look at because, um, I mean, uh, the, I think all, all this kind of, you know, that in some sense trouble, but I, I don't know, I mean, it, because of this, actually, it makes things manageable, easier. But on the other hand, the, the, the limited scope and those things all come from exactly that, 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 um, the, 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 the fact that. You, you want to make things in some sense too, too nice and then all, all these things happen. So um, I, 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 I was, and I mean, trying to approach this, uh, how, how am I going to think of this complication from, not, not from that point of view, but, but um, you know, then we're working with some, 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 some volume maps and then I'm getting confused or up a lot of all this, but, um, and maybe maybe I'll, I'll follow your suggestion and then try to start from from that angle that that is just make it simplistic like that and then um, yeah I mean I, I, I mean I, 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 I yes. yeah so this delta might be something like uh, dualizing of of pointwise multiplication times the characteristic function of some subset okay yeah. this is not this yeah. a non example but uh, a monomorphism. I think this is how you obtain uh, examples of this structure from just ordinary group points. Even finite ones. Yeah, preferably. I mean, if they're not, then <laughs> you need all those measures and yeah, but. Yeah. So, um, so, this e, so this E is uh, not canonically produced from this delta. If you, if you know nothing about this delta, mm. okay. But it's a, Starting uh, part of 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 the of the structure, because what it tells you what is composable. Uh, no way. I mean, in it, effect, it, it, it yeah. had to see information about that. That yes, composable, and also what what the source and target that information is somehow captured in there. Uh, in, in purely topological, if you you have an example of not not example. Uh, to the title of a section, probably about uh, locally compact, separable uh, 
two points. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, on the group is separable type of system. So, so, so typically, if you have, if you think about nice group points like legal points or something like this, classical things, okay, then um, having this epsilon, uh, so sorry, this just e. Uh, is, is, is like having this this uh, mm, uh, characteristic function of some over set of, of composable pairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, but what kind of, of a set? This set is a closed, is a closed and open. Yes, I think so. So if you are in, in the situation when everything is connected, you that, don't that, have that thing. Yeah, so that so this means that the, the, this effect of this E introduces uh, this connectivity. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So maybe this you mentioned uh, when when uh, you were discussing restrictions on 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 the basic algebra D or C. Okay. So this is why I was worried about this context of Caesar algebra and non von Neumann algebra. Yeah, yeah von Neumann algebra is abundant. Yes, there are plenty of them. Mm -hmm. for them. Yes. So, yeah, exactly. Yes. So this is, I, I actually noticed some of those things, and then um, <laughs> so which means and then you win, you don't need to, this uh, these multipliers. You don't like. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Working with uh, from mm -hmm. yeah. That's that's. Uh, yeah, but but on the other hand, the, the reason why we want the CISA version is to. And I hopefully to keep this all this structure, but uh, I don't know. Yes, but um, exactly because of this, uh, not not necessarily because of this, but uh, probably because of this. Actually, the, in the phenomenological version, that there is actually a theory much, much actually more established than the, in the, the wider. And it's just that um, some some of the techniques there are really really just phenomenological specific. So um. Uh, even though you, you know that uh, the corresponding one should be this algebra or something like that, but um, there's no really direct path. And, and so that, that's okay. Since we just debated it at length, how about uh, the relationship between what you are talking about right now in the realm of, fun of functional analysis with, say, Hopf algebraids, where you really use balanced as a product? It's, it's, it's a difference between. Uh, by algebraids, uh -huh. of by algebraids, uh -huh. and this uh -huh. picture uh, of of the sort of the difference uh, between um, yeah. So, so he was talking about uh, this construction of Bohm and Slatsani. Okay, okay. So it was the first attempt uh, to, mm -hmm. to to deal with the with the antipod. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But but after that, uh, probably they and and uh, the Australians, mm -hmm. they discovered how to replace this condition of 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 of, of the antipod, of the existence of the antipod, uh, by uh, some kind of uh, invertibility of two canonical nets. Mm -hmm. For for mm -hmm. for a group point, yeah. For, mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah. th th they invented something which now is called the quantum group point. Okay, uh, so so I see that the, 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 this this is something in in the spirit of of this uh, previous trial by by uh, Bohm and Slatsani, uh, which is not very successful. So so Australians uh, did a better job. And mm -hmm. They found. Uh, the notion which generalizes the classical thing makes sense in the non-commutative setting, including functional analytic, right? Yes, yes, yes. And and, and th th there are some there are some uh, passages even to 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 this crime theorem, some mm -hmm. crime theorems, Taraka crime reconstruction theorems. So everything makes sense then, but but. Because somehow I don't know this discontinuation mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. starting from the level of Bohm and Slatsani as you started. Because somehow, you know, 
I am emotionally attached to this balanced tensor project because it's so natural and the Galois theory. It's yeah. given by the translation map because there is one triangle quantum group point, which mm -hmm. is so beautiful. So uh, it's hard yes. to part. So precisely. If you have if you have a Hopf algebra, it acts on itself mm -hmm. uh, in a in a way as as uh, if it's a principal bundle, okay, mm -hmm. over a point, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and you have a canonical map. So invertibility of this canonical map is on the nose the existence of the antipode. Yeah, yeah, it's well known. Actually, I, I have I like um, a slide or two to way back in saying something about balanced density product, but uh, exactly, but um, not in any uh, comprehensive way in, in any way. So it's probably relevant at this stage. So um, what what I considering the time and things like that. What I um, probably do is to just um, um, highlight some things. <laughs> Now I'm just wrap this up. It's um it, for the end that that was the my my that, and not 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 necessary toward the end, but um, eventually what I want to go into is actually that that kind of like um improved framework and where this probably will be a special case and therefore uh, it, you know it helps me understand certain things by experimenting and, and things like that. Uh, but um, as as of now, its scope is limited. But um, the the thing is that um, the sheer what I'm saying is now I'm try to go with it a minute version of this is that um, the invariance um, condition uh, it's not there, but um, it seemed a little bit too weak. But actually, it can be uh, remedied. Uh, it, it looks funny, but um, I'm defining a certain so, so what, what I'm doing is that here is an element um, that um, uh, the, 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 the those six pen a um, dense um, subspace inside all of a while actually uh, where you can make sense of um, the uh, uh, what's that the applying the measure the weight and that and everything but um, anyway I mean um, with those, um, so, so in a, in the, the, the details not important, but in any case, um, I'm trying to define a map um, that's densely defined because it's not going to bound it, which uh, looks a lot like I mean, here. Here is an element, and then if you compare, it looks like in between you're inserting something. It, it kind of looks like that. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, on the other hand, the E is. Um, the idempotent. So um, if this was going to work, then um, the, the applying this twice will um, be itself. So it's it's um, it, it, it's QR times QR is QR, but on the other hand, um, it turns out to be actually unbounded. So well, why is this relevant? It's because of um, this result. So um, the uh, what's going on is this. So, so um, if I have um, maybe the, the one more. Yeah. So if I look at something like this, I'll get to that later. But um, if if I wrote something like this, then there are two ways to look at this because um, here is my um, delta identity delta test. So I can um, regard it as um, yeah, because of the core. Uh, associativity. Then um, this psi actually can actually go uh, the past these guys and then come up here. So what's going to happen is that um, the, the, I am going to have uh, actually just just delta, and then um, the go here, and then you're going to have. Yes. Uh, the, hmm, sorry. Just one. Sorry. Delta. Delta. Oh, sorry. Just let, let me. Uh, so what, what's what's happening is that if I apply this psi map, then uh, if I if I call the, the you use a co-associativity 
this one, which is acting on the, the very first um, leg, uh, will not be affected by this guy and then go over there. So um, the, essentially what's going to happen is that I'm going to be getting um, this object. And then the, um, uh, the, the last one doesn't get touched and the, that's, um, Oh yeah, indeed here, I guess that that's, I guess that's what's happening. Uh, what did I, no, no, I mean, this one went in there, so I don't need that, I, it's just Delta. And now that I think about it, I probably don't need that either. Because um, I have three and then I apply five, so I have two, two copies, so I don't need one more. So I have that, but this one is supposed to be contained in, in, in um, because of the, the, the condition is supposed to be in, in B or multiply of B or whatever. That's, uh, I use psi now that I think about it. So it's right invariant. So there the, the left invariant goes, the, the one that goes there. Um, but in any case, um, the, we know that delta element in B uh, becomes something like E times. Um, one times B, or actually in the, you, you can show that actually that these two commutes. So well, if I use that, then um, th this can be written as E times one times um, the, this thing, because um, that, that's how the multiplication goes. But at the same time, uh, at the same time, uh, 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 what I can also do is, um, uh, oh yeah, I mean, I, I think that's, that, that's exactly what that is. So um, and the, here, if I the, the phrase back that the B is this thing, then phi, I think that that's here, and then this delta thing is right there, and the psi is the first leg, so that's why it's only the first and third, and so on. But what, I, I'm, what I'm doing is that think of this as uh, by using the co multiplicate the co associativity regarded as delta acting on an element in the uh, source algebra, use the property of the source algebra, the, the co multiplication um, property, and then. Um, the replace what B was, and then I bring it back. And then once you're here, then um, it's uh, the, just, um, it, it, this is like, um, um, yeah, I mean, compared to there, this, this A star is there, so here this is A star, and then um, multiply one tens, uh, the one tens, one tens, uh, X and then um, apply phi here or something like that here, there, and then um, one X, one, one X. Uh, then um, it just looks funny, but um, then it, it, it's actually just that because um, this phi is phi identity phi with this X there and then this delta A that that's this whole thing P. Uh, and so that that's delta of that p, and then um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I also need to multiply b there too. So, so here the b. So um, uh, it, it to, to clean this up, the, from again um, the, the using the invariance condition uh, together with course of study, but the. The, the, the most important part is that using the invariance condition together with the co, uh, the fact that co uh, multiplication on the uh, B algebra X that behaves in a certain way, that you get the, this computation which um, is cleaned up in this way because I'm using this the notation as P. Why is this useful? Because uh, the, the the previous version of left invariance, or, or in this case, right invariance, now that I think about it, but the previous invariance version looked a little bit um, too weak. But if you look at it in this way, and um, for convenience, let's say this is quantum group case, let's say, then um, the E is equal to one. 
in, 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 the, in particular, the, the quantum loop case is equal to one. So therefore, this Q map, which was um, given by essentially inserting the E in between, so if E is equal to one, this really doesn't change anything. So in other words, Q map is exactly just identity. So um, what's going to happen is that this result is exactly saying is that psi identity delta P and then um, the, the B multiplied out is same as the, if this is just identity, the same as psi P times B. E. So in other words, um, it's the, then the B can be anything. So um, this is essentially the more, more familiar version of um, invariance condition. So what, what I'm saying is that this more stronger, more familiar version of invariance condition comes as a consequence of that vehicle one together with this other, other trick. And um, it, 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 I'm, I'm mentioning this even in this short amount of time, this thing, uh, not to show you that invariance condition can be improved it's, um, or the, to, to do computation. The thing is that um, in, the, in the kind of like um, the nitty gritty part of the weak multiply health algebra theory, there are these um, elements that are um, kind of like E, but um, a little bit the kind of just so in other words here uh, the uh, antipode um, kind of thing is the the, the the bottom level there is a sort of like antipode kind of anti density defined anti map from B to C and C to D. So um, either by putting here or there or the inverse there, and then there's multiple versions of these things that they, they, um, they play useful roles. But unfortunately, in this setting, you cannot work with those things because they're all unbounded. Unbounded. They, 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 so, you know, this element, because once, because of this map being unbounded, you cannot directly work with this. But I, I can think of this um, map that. Um, plays this role, and and in particular because of this, the invariance condition can be uh, now played with. The, the the way it's written earlier is a little bit too weak, and um, that doesn't look like it doesn't help too much. But um, whenever I want to work with any kind of left or right invariance, here is one, and then um, here are three more depending on whether you left right multiplication flip to a comma multiplication flip so that there are four versions of um, left or right invariance um, the, the uh, condition capturing maps. And if you play with these things, then you can do a whole bunch of nice things. Like for instance, um, mm, oh yeah, here's a map that um, looks familiar and um, if you are, Come to the, if you have been paying attention to the, you know, the, what I was saying, like this fundamental map. Mm -hmm. and, and also in the quantum group theory, this um, plays a role of um, multiplicative unitary operator using this to uh, get the regular representation. Now, um, but somehow we switch uh, from the notation from N to N. Is it on portals or? Yeah, you're right. I also well, n is square oh, integrable, and yeah. m is just integrable, so it's product uh, of it's, it's a space level. Yes. How about l? Yeah, n is uh, yeah, like l two. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm this, I I actually had a, a slides talking about this weight theory, and then removed all of them because. But yeah, it's it's um. It's because I, I'm not thinking of trying to get the number out of this. I, I want to basically do it. So, so. so anyway, I mean that this is um, a, a, a map that um, plays a role of the, the regular representation, and and um, uh, the, it determines multiplicative unitary operator in the case of um, quantum groups. But um, this one defined in the same way. But what's nice about things is that. Um, uh, it, it becomes partial isometry. How do I know that it's, uh, how do I prove that it's partial isometry? It um, the, the heavily uses that, that um, refined version of this invariance that the Q map. 
uh, that, that using that you, you find the actually a characterization of V star and then um, V times V star is not identity but happens to be exactly equal to the E V F so it's uh, it, 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 it times the star is um, so E is like the terminal and then um, of course you can <coughs> ask for the other way partial isometry than the other way and then uh, that one actually comes from the Q map so um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going into the details of course but this Q map actually uh, which is a direct descendant of this um, left right invariance there are four of them and they play roles to um, determine this V operator so it, it, at least you can think that um, I have a hard weight. It's a weight, so you can do GNS and so Hilbert space, and then you can define this operator. So that part is straightforward. But the, how does that uh, the unitary, in this case, partial isometry operator behave? Uh, the, is it really partial isometry in the quantum group case? Is it really uh, a, a unitary? Then um, that's not easy. But um, that that's actually proved using uh, some version of invariance property of the phi. So not just for defining, but to get the property you need to have the invariance property. And in this case, uh, the 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 trick that worked for the um, quantum group case does not um, completely carry over. Uh, so I, I needed to really invent this Q map to to make make it work. More uh, they motivated by what the uh, algebraic theory did. In, 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 so in, in other words, um, in, in here probably that that this um, figuring out this Q thing is probably my, my biggest contribution. I get to mostly I was following what Candela was doing, but uh, so the, the using that the, the V. Um, gives us um, the algebra. And then um, the, the, now that you have that re representation, regular representation, and then, the, the, and then um, the invariance property, next thing that you should do, uh, which I want to, uh, is um, to construct the uh, antipode, which um, again, it's uh, it, because V, the e, E is not one, V is not unitary. So even though the general storyline to get the antipode and all the composition out of this and all these um, ingredients like um, scaling group and then whatnot, that they all remain as in quantum group theory, if you are familiar. The thing is that in each of those steps, the, the because V being not unitary and things like that, each of those steps it becomes some headache. E each time you resolve by um, the, the using E and then um, partial isometry property, but um, if you do that, actually overall storyline goes through. And my claim is that eventually the antipode can be made. So, so at least let me go. Uh, yeah, I mean, motivation part, and because um, I thought I was going to be. <laughs> and how about a manageability? I remember that in Voronovich's theory, the property of manageability was a very big deal for a multiplicity. Uh, the, the reason why that is needed is because um, uh, once it's not at this stage, it's more like later to uh, construct a dual. Ah, then then um, the you want to know that the cista algebra or phenomenal algebra or whatever that obtained from this isometry mm -hmm. or partial isometry or unitary mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is that a star algebra that that's always issue that this is the showing that this is an algebra is, is the sub algebra and then you complete it that's that's okay, okay. So, yeah. star algebra, so that you can complete uh -huh. it you get the cista algebra of phenomenon, that that's the issue and that's where this uh, manageability is needed. Mm -hmm. And um, but um, that manageability, uh, but but that's more like um, more like uh, the axiomatic approach purposes in this case, because uh, the this V operator or W operator whatever that, that came from already known um, quantum group with its antipode and everything because of this. Um, basically this manageability condition or whatever is needed to make the dual actually start, but that is already automatically there. Uh, the, the, basically the antipode helps me uh, the, the resolve that issue of the dual actually, uh, dual object that um, is given by the other leg 
is actually star algebra. But um, if you want to approach this, um, not from, I have the quantum group and can get the dual, but um, I have um, a multiplicity unitary or partial, multiplicity partial isometry. And then from that, I want to get the sister algebras, are they star algebras? And then, then you need some conditions and um, that's among them is manageability. So it will also be reflected on your isometry. Yes. Yeah. yes. So I, I did some work on this, although um, there are some kinks that I need to clean up. I, 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 I was okay then, but um, there are some issues. Like that. But um, you, you can do it in this way. And at, at least I, I think I can kind of stop now because um, I <laughs> skipped a whole bunch of things, but I can get the anti proposal. And, and um, so it's, 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 it works okay. <laughs> And then do okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this fascinating journey throughout the world of classical quantum deployed system algebra. Are there any last minute urgent questions? Maybe yes. Go ahead. I have a question on your QR uh, maps. So maybe if you go to the slide where the there uh, were the four different versions, right? Mm -hmm. We're saying I should think of this kind of as co multiply and then act with the antipode on one of those legs. And I was thinking this very much looks like the translation map from Kopf Galois theory, mm -hmm. which, as we commented, is kind of needed uh, or it, it is a way to um, characterize antipodes. Maybe this one? Um, so you were saying that there are four different versions, yeah, depending on where you could multiply where yes, yes. Yes, here. Uh, it is kind of. So I was just wondering if, if here we have um, some kind of translation map hidden that is kind of the inverse of some of Galois map. Yes. But you don't have this kind of map here. It's of course it's not. everywhere uh, this sky or phi. So it's like yeah. That's why I said it's uh, maybe it's uh, hidden here, but maybe. I know, but on the other hand, the map, the, the weights are faithful. So I they are faithful, and it's well, like it is it's precisely it, somehow in yeah. the canon they, apps. They, 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 I, so I, 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 one of them is faithful and everything, all, all, and also um the. Yes. Essentially, these guys they are there, but in some sense, they are um, there to make the algebra. So, well, I I think, um, I mean, the, the it's some version of the, these kind of uh, the correspondences without these files and size actually can be written. Uh, uh, although I, I don't know how, how useful that is, because I, I, I don't know about what, what you're, um, the, the, uh, you're, you're working on, but um, um, the, when I was working with these things, then um, uh, the, often what happened was I, I put these things later after figuring some of these things. I mean, this, this uh, could be useful since uh, classically in the group case, let's say, um, how you can get the report, right? This is how you characterize uh, mm -hmm. existing uh, Yes, in a, in a way, yes. Um, well, although, um, if for this particular case, then in the quantum group case, they, they all turn out to be relatively trivial for these guys. These cues are also sort of one sided module maps, right? I mean, somehow. Uh, course. Yes, yes, actually, yes, yeah, in other words, um, I think then you get depending on what side. you use, mm -hmm. I mean, they, they, you can multiply from this side or yeah. from that side. And, and that pretty yeah. much lets you get rid of the psi, at least in the first line. And the second line, somehow phi is on the other side than C, but uh, maybe that's... Yeah, um, yeah I mean, it, it's, mm -hmm. actually, the, so the maps can be removed. That the psi and psi is actually when I was working with this, it's actually often what I did was um, I put them later and they're doing the algebra first, but um, I needed those things to actually make it work, but um, and because of the faithfulness and everything. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's, it's a pity that Pavel left, but I, I have a, just a very naive uh, 
question. It's not even a question. Uh, if, if you have a graph sister algebra, you can present it as a groupoid sister algebra. So when I have a quantum graph, can I have quantum graph sister algebra as a quantum groupoid sister algebra? I mean, it's, well, I there is stupid semantics, but I don't know about that. But uh, my the, the, it could happen. But my 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 um, thinking naive really very much naive thinking was. If maybe it can be still groupoid that doesn't have to be quantum. Exactly. Uh, okay. I mean, not, not groupoid, not graphs, not not quantum graphs in, in graph algebra. I mean, it could be still graph algebra uh -huh. for some additional structure. Uh -huh. So so that the um, the even though the underlying algebra may still remain as groupoid algebra, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, there's this additional structure which is actually encoded by, from the dual side, the, the, uh, the, the quantum groupoid. I mean, what I'm saying is that the, the, uh, in the very classical setting, it should be duality between um, functions on G versus uh, the, the convolution yes. algebra on G. Um, but um, the, 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 this can be quantized, and this can be quantized, uh, but so sometimes what can happen is that one of them is quantized and the other one can't stay. Uh, at, at least underlying structure goes, but um, because this one is quantized, some something else that's not the underlying algebra, some other structure might be delta, but in over in the other second. Yeah, that's standard for refill deformation. Yeah, yes, yes. I mean, and the, 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 I'm, I'm coming from that line because yes, as you can imagine. So, so um, so so so, 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 so therefore the my, my again naive thinking is that um, and so some of the interesting algebras, cis algebras that are um, now interpreted as group or cis algebras, um, but sometimes some of the efforts that went into this was really enormous. So it's very hard, but. Um, if there was some some um, dual dual picture that um, actually explains why that works or something that might be useful, I, but I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if, if, if anything really about that picture anyway. I, I just um, feel that I uh, the, the, the expanded the quantum group quantum group um, class just a little bit, and then it really looks like intermediate picture. So I I, I don't know what to say, but um, hopefully as we learn more. Anyway, it's just a loose thought, and I really have to wind it up because we don't want our pizzas to get cold. So let's thank BJ again for. I'll stop recording.